Hello, today I'm going to give you an introduction to the Photoshop workspace. The first thing you need to know is how to open up Photoshop, right? So if you drag your mouse down to the bottom of your screen, the dock will pop up on a Mac. And if you click on the little rocket ship, it's called the launch pad, all of your apps and programs on the computer will pop up. And we want to, I can click on these little dots here, we want to get to the Adobe window pane and find Photoshop. I'm going to click on the Photoshop button, PS stands for Photoshop, and up will pop the sort of introductory window. Um, and what we really want to focus on here is the Create New or the Open buttons. Create New will give you a blank sort of document. We use that sometimes later in the year, but most of the time we're going to click, be clicking on the Open button which will bring up our options um, for the file management system on our computer. And you need to locate a photograph that you'd like to open and just click on the open button and that will open up a photograph in Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop. What you'll need to know is along the left hand side of the screen are all our tools. Now, if I hover my mouse over these tools, Photoshop gives these little live videos of sort of basic overview of what the tools are. That can be kind of fun and useful. It can also be very annoying. You can turn that off under Photoshop preferences. All right, and, and we'll talk about that more, but I just want you to know that that is an optional thing that you can turn off. The other thing I'd like you to notice is as I click on the different tools, the options bar, which is located right above here, changes as the tools change because every tool has different preferences and different options for what, what we can use in Photoshop. Um, another thing I'd like you to know is if you click and hold on that tool, more tools pop up. So they're kind of nested within each other. So here's a rectangular selection tool and when I click and hold on it, you can see there are some other ones and I would just let go and it would change to the elliptical and so on. And almost all of these have multiple nesting kinds of tools. So that's super important to know. The other thing I'd like you to notice is over on the right hand side of the screen is our layers panel. And you can see a little icon of our photograph. And as we make adjustments, this is called the adjustment layer icon. We'll talk more about this, but as we make adjustments, you'll see layers will um, be added and they are always added on top of each other. And so you'll, you'll definitely be watching the layers panel uh, a lot to see, you know, what layer you are on, what kind of selections you want to make. These selections, these options sort of pop up. This is the properties panel for the vibrance. Um, if they are in your way, just notice that there's a little arrow you can click to get rid of that. Also notice that there's some nesting panels right along here. It's sort of easy access to some of these tools. Again, you can click on the arrow to get rid of that. Under the layers panel at the bottom, I want you to notice there are some very important little icons here. These icons affect the layers panel. So if let's say I wanted to um, throw away this layer, you can see the little trash can, you know, I can get rid of that. Checks to see if I want to make sure. We will be using this. This is called the adjustment layer icon. A lot of these things we'll be using. Um, and we'll also be using the effects from, from time to time. So that's an important area of Photoshop that I'd like you to know about. On the other side of the screen over here, this black, uh, this well, this is white and uh, black square. This is called the foreground color and the background color. That's also something that you'll be um, using a lot and need to pay attention to. Another aspect of Photoshop that you'll need to know is the menus up here. Up along the top, there's file, edit, image, and so on. And we'll be learning a lot about that. Now, what happens if your workspace gets messed up? Let's say uh, things get weird and think you, you've, you've lost things or weird panels have popped up. You can always go to Window, Workspace, Reset Essential, and that will make everything back to normal or what we're used to seeing. All right, that's all I need to tell you today. We'll be learning a lot more.
about Photoshop as the year progresses.